notion of Victory Gardens came about, um, I started re looking at the vision and the mission of the theater, and I was very struck because the same mission and the vision of Victory Gardens has been mine as a playwright and as a director and basically as a theater artist, which is basically the notion of new work and also the notion of diversity. And I really strongly believe that you can never call yourself an American theater if you don't represent what is America. And what is America? Just look into the streets of Chicago, look in the streets of New York, or even in the middle of Ohio. You will see what America is. And the question is, are we really telling these stories? So to some extent, why I'm attracted to Victory Gardens aside from the mission is the notion of what is the next chapter. I think Dennis has done a wonderful job. Um, and to some extent, I always believe in a very strange, perhaps sentimental way, that I'm a child of Dennis's legacy. Without championing new work, without championing diversity, I probably wouldn't be sitting here. So in a very interesting and, again, sentimental way, I feel like it's a passing of a certain baton. My question to myself would be, what am I going to do for the next chapter of this theater and for American theater? And I always believe that when you are in theater, you basically don't have a real place. It's all ephemeral. It's like watching a play. You go in, you work it, it belongs to someone else. And my question is, as many doors have been opened for me to do this job, to open doors, I hope that this position, this opportunity that I have, will be given to future generations. And hopefully at some point, the theater doesn't become a building, but a place, a town hall, a meeting place, where ideas, conversations, and dialogue could happen, and where theater could happen.